Hi guys! We are a few months into our wedding prep and it has been really really crazy. I'm glad we've kind of just started but we are, I don't know, a few months away from the actual wedding. I uh, just wanted to share with you guys the very first exercise that we had to kickstart the whole wedding preparation and whole wedding journey and that is the visiting exercise. So it was James's sister's idea, Grace, to do this visioning exercise where um, we got this cousin um, to, to kind of draw out everything that was happening and we thought it would be, you know, a very cool sketching because she's, she's an artist, right? Yeah, she said it up. Yeah. Like it. So, so we thought it would be really nice to keep this as a momentum for us in our house in the future. Anyway, the visioning exercise um, involved us Melvin, our photographer, basically all the key people involved in our wedding, including my stylist Philly from Net Collect, Claire, who is my wedding planner. She was present as well so that she could you know, get a good sense of the kind of people we are and what we are looking for in our wedding. So that was that was nice. Um, we a lot started, of close friends in there as well. Yeah, right? So we, the people who met the our bridesmaids now who spent with it. Yeah. I think that was really important because these are the people that you know we really treasure and we, we want their opinion on like things. Yeah, on and there was a pretty good icebreaker because it was probably the first time some of them, some of them met, yeah. yeah. Especially Leonard. Yeah, I love Leonard. So cute. <laughs> Claire pulled James aside to do a little interview. So we each had a mini interview session with Claire where she prepared some questions for us. And some of the questions were things like what is one word um, that comes to your mind when you think of James mm. or Mel? Yeah. And also, uh, what's the most important thing to do? Yeah, personally for each of us. Yeah. So I guess that was quite nice. Like, you know, it, it kind of gave Claire a very good sense of, of what we wanted in the wedding. And after she has done the interview, uh, my sister took over and she um, started with the visioning exercise. Um, the first one involved post-its and everyone writing down the answers on post-its without sharing it with each other so that they would really influence each other's answers. But funny thing is that everyone had the same answers. Okay, yeah. so she asked uh, that everyone questions like, oh, what do you think of James? Laboon <laughs> was like the common answer from, amongst all our friends. From all the IG. For all my writings. Yeah, the, the guys who are not nice and said, Hey, the girl, you should. Bye! Nice guy. Yeah. Then, when we were done with that, we, we were all asked to like shut our eyes and kind of envision and be like this yeah, like, positioning. Probably the, the meat of the exercise. <laughs> yeah, to kind of envision or picture what the wedding would be like on the actual day. And um, it, was, it was quite nice because we kind of grouped it according to the event. So, like the engagement party. The, the church, the dinner, and all our friends together with us, including our photographer friend Melvin, who is who is a very important part of, of this whole wedding because he's gonna be capturing the shots and it's very important to know what he's thinking of. Maybe he's like, oh unicorns will be flying in the sky at the engagement party and like what knows what <laughs> but anyway, uh, a, a very common thing that appeared um, in, in in the post-its were flowers. A long train. Uh, that was a post it was a big budget. Oh yeah, big money paper. Uh, good food. So we all gathered in, into groups, we all grouped up and then we rotated. So we all like kind of brainstormed ideas that we thought would be nice for for each event. And that was really helpful because in fact some of the ideas that we brainstormed are ideas that we are actually gonna to bring to life on the wedding day. So I think the visioning exercise in all was a really good idea and it kind of gets you started especially for couples that do not know what they want or you know when your wedding planner asks uh, what colours do you like or you know what theme, what theme do you want, do you want? and you have no clue you just look for inspiration on magazines or Pinterest and God what but actually it's more important to, to do something that resonates between the both of you I, I'm happy that we did that because right now like everything that we are planning around the wedding has 
a very meaningful background story to it. Um, and yeah, that's really nice. We will update you guys more when we have more information or like along the way. It's just a few months away, so expect a lot more to come in the next few months. But for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.